thousands of residents are accessing the Likoni floating bridge following its official opening to the public during the Christmas holiday. Over 64,000 people have been recorded in a single day and the number is expected to rise as more residents embrace the floating bridge. Kama mkasi wa Likoni imeni saidia sana, sababu imeni rise share. Mambo mengi ni kina muda enough wa kupumisika ni kitoka kazi ni kwangu. E, ile mambo na jamu ni kuwa na, na piti ya pale ferry. Saina wana imekuwa fuwe ni kwetu. The face and operations of the Kilindini Harbour have changed immensely following the creation of a safer and faster alternative for residents, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. Haina watu wengi, yani hamu, hakuna congestion. Unakuta kwamba kutembe inakuwa raisi. Sababu kuna kigari. Alafu, of course, sababu ni raisi na safe time. Ule mudo ngechukua kwa ferry, unakuwa kido kama ngechukua kwa ferry daka 30, draji unachukua madaga kumi. So, unakuwa na muda. The bridge is the first of its kind in the East African region and has complemented the existing ferry services as well as provided safe passageways for pedestrians. The bridge consists of two steel decks situated on the Liwatoni side and the Likoni side as well as a median pontoon that is anchored on the water by means of steel tube piles. The median pontoon comprises of steel boxes that enable buoyancy of the structure. This was a, a noble idea that the central government came up with and that was demonstrated a few days ago when uh, we had issues with the ferries there was a serious jam at the ferries and we requested the regional commissioner to instruct the police commander on the Likoni side to redirect all the traffic pedestrians to come to the floating bridge that way uh, actually it is saved a very eminent stampede. Hii ndio ilipo patikana mimi naona rahisi sana kwangu. Ukiingia unapita moja kwa moja. Hakuna kungoja, hakuna jam. So inakuwa ni rahisi. Security features include guardrails on each side of the deck as well as on the middle part to separate human traffic. The bridge is currently being operated manually but will be automated to enhance efficiency and cut down on operation time. The bridge has ushered in new business and tourism prospects in the county as well as propelled the country towards new infrastructure developments.